I mean, what's his shot? There's nothing stopping them. Yeah, there is nothing stopping them. If they they could go past ten and just invite the sixteen best. But why would they do that when they could just get all this money from New England? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's such a bad marketing idea. Like, it definitely costs them a good amount to throw this kick-ass, you know, three-day banger. So, the fact is they gotta make the money somewhere and just add to it. And I mean, like, this is still, like, it's not a great... It's like a good idea that's like executed poorly. It's like, like voting players in is like good. Yeah. But like it's just. Votes, more, as long as there's a way to get more than one vote per person, people will try to announce That's just different. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like the other the other side of the dice is like they still do invite the top ten players just like no matter what. Yeah, and those are the only players that like really oh. technically deserve it. They're like the only players that all in all are probably gonna make like the top three, top five, top whatever. I just mean like they deserve it because like if you get invited, then you deserve it. Yeah, I think that's how like, it goes. You're fucking Because they invited you to the event. So. Yeah. yeah. To them, they deem you worthy. And if you don't get invited, then get fucked. You gotta get in. Even if you're also. 11th and you're not voted, like that sucks, dude. Like, should have been 10th. Should have been top 10, exactly. Although, I think Shroom actually was top 10 and didn't get in. Which that's, is kind of fucked up. That's fucked. Who got invited over? Pewbew for the Pewfat combo. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's a good thing though, because like... It is a good thing because that doubles. adds like doubles, yeah. Because like, having Pewfat there is like objectively good for doubles. Shroom's really not a big doubles guy. He used to be. Historically though, like at majors recently, you don't really see I think it's because Allen hasn't been around as much because he teamed a lot with Allen. Yeah, if I'm not that's why he played Dog, though. I think they teamed even recently, though. Really? That's pretty dope. Pretty sure. I don't know, that team was you like absurd. You usually don't see him in like top three of big tournaments, though. Yeah. Right? As opposed to like PewFat, you will almost yeah, we're certainly see top three. Where's my Twitch chat? Where's my yeah, I'm trying to see the people. Yeah, where's my people? I also can't believe they started on Falco. Absolutely yeah. crazy. Why would why would Falco do this to himself? Yeah. Usually I'm like, oh yeah, Falco and Falco, I'm like good, but no, it's smart. It's working out though. It's like, yeah, this oh, Falco's not bad. I'm pretty sure I played him before. He's definitely like, not. I played him in a friendly today and I restocked him, but like, <laughs> that's what happens. Yeah, you know, that's like unfair. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no sit down. All right. Marth jumping down, spam and counter. That's gonna work zero times out of zero. It worked the first time he did it. A, I don't a think I've. Bit. No, like, it hit the first time. I don't think I've seen it work yet, since. But he could just kill Falco here because he got a hit. Or he could get back air to yeah. get killed himself. Yeah. Game one to Pansy. <laughs> Now Pansy's gonna ban uh, FD. Yoshi. <laughs> no, he's gonna ban like Battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's gonna counter pick FD when he loses. Dude, what's godlike? I played all Falco against Kalvar at Game Castle. Yeah, My highest win rate stage was FD with the 1 0. God. <laughs> I had a 100% win rate on FD. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it makes you feel any better, you probably have a winning record against me on FD. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a different matchup. <laughs> maybe, maybe not all time, though. Because there was a while where, no matter where you went, it was uh, it was just hard to beat me. Yeah. Back during the Reign of Terror. It's also still, like, decently hard to beat you, so. And especially, if I'm playing well, dude... Like, if I'm playing well, I just kind of chill for a bit, hit you once, and then your Nana dies, and you're like, fuck. Let's go, Sopo. Oh, shit. Oh, 40, 48 Breadstick doesn't know about the Reign of Terror. I don't want you to spread your Falco hate propaganda at something. I don't hate Falco, but he's just not that Good. great. No, yeah. not hate, but slander. <laughs> I actually love Falco. He's no, just no, not no. good enough. If Falco is He's like the dude, most fun character in the game. He is. Like actually. He really is. 
Like, I actually have way more fun with Falco than any other character. Yeah. Falco's honest as fuck. Dude. Sounds about right. Scott's not bad. Scott Weeaboo is like a close set. Falco's like honest to the point where like if you make one mistake you're probably just fucking dead. Yeah. But if you get an opening, they're probably just fucking dead. Unless it's Marth. Unless it's Marth. Fucking Marth, bro. I mean, but right there though, what we see? We see two Yeah, guys. but he was like already at 80. Like right now, if Falco gets an opening, it should be like 40 at most. Yeah. Right now, Marth could have killed off of that. Yeah, that's very true. Like, he didn't, obviously, because, like, this is, like, a bit lower level than Theory. Yeah. But... I mean, these plays certainly are... I'm not, I'm not saying they're bad, I'm just no. saying... I don't expect them to kill each other off every opening, that's true. basically, is what I'm saying. Like, the no Mewtwo King. Yeah. Where's Unsheathed Katana? He's on the mic, guys. <laughs> Where is Unsheathed Katana? I heard he's going to Summit. Dude, if Unsheath shows up at Summit, I'll be pretty happy. The Brain Gear Yoshi. Unsheath versus RBR would be a very tight set. What's RBR? Rich Boy Rich? Oh, the Fox. Boy Rich. Yeah, dude. True, dude. Should be dead, yeah. But Rich Boy Rich, dude, he used to go home every night to his shrine of uh, some green fox and just like pray to him. And then he got good. He took a break. And he's just like, oh, I should have made a video. He did the count. Who's more? Who's more iconic, Rich Boy or uh, Unsheet? I think Rich Boy. I think Rich Boy is because he beat R two D Lu, who's now like an icon. R two D Lu's an icon. I mean, he's sponsored, so he may as well be an icon. He's sponsored. Yeah, he has the same sponsor as Crush. And Cyrox? Yep. Dude, they just have and stiffies for Goku. Yeah, and Fat Goku. Hella stiffies for Fox. 